In this video, I'm going to talk about Power Apps Query String. Now, a while back, I've posted a video uh, titled as How to Generate Push Notification in Power Apps Using Power Apps Notification V2 Connector. Now, what this, uh, uh, the context of this video is basically uh, how to generate a push notification. Now, what happens when a push notification is published? Uh, it, it allows you to uh, view the push notification in your mobile. Now, when you click on it, it will open a Power App. Now, uh, a user has requested uh, that uh, uh, that uh, the query basically relies around uh, how can you redirect the user to a specific screen within your app. So, this video, uh, I'm going to explore uh, how to override the default screen behavior within your Power Apps when you redirect. So just to set the context i have created a simple power apps uh, uh, it is uh, it has three screens in it so screen number one screen number two and screen number three now uh, i'll just uh, show you what what happens when this power app is run okay so so what happens if i run this power app and if i'm on screen one it will show as screen one if i'm on screen two if i run this power app it will show screen two and same with uh, screen three as well okay uh now once you share this url with the user okay so you need to set one of the screen as a default screen so for that what you need to do you need to go into the app so let me take this off you need to go into the app and then from here it says navigate to the start screen okay so if i click on navigate to start screen now the start screen is screen two okay now how it has come to screen two is like if i go into app and then from here you have a property called as a start screen and i have set it to screen two okay so what happens is uh if you navigate to the web link of your web app uh, power app and if you copy this link what happens is like it will open the power app and then it will navigate to a specific screen now in this case it is screen number two now what if i make this as screen number three okay and i'll just click on save and publish so what i've done i have made the default screen as screen three and now if i run this particular app uh, i think i need to publish it so let me publish this so i'll publish this app and let me take this link off and let me copy this link again and and it says a new version of the app is coming we'll let you know when it is available and it might take a while for this app to appear so if you do control f5 then uh it should uh yeah so now the app is loaded and now you see the by default screen three is uh shown as the default screen now okay uh but what happens when you use power app push notification is that it will redirect uh, uh you to the default screen so you do not have control over the url right uh so here i have set the start screen as screen three how we used to do earlier is uh on uh, so app on start so in app on start we used to uh, uh put a method called as navigate and then we used to say okay navigate to screen number two or screen two so this was uh we used to do uh earlier uh like three or four years back now if you see this property okay so if you go to app and if you go to on start on screen two it says navigate is not permitted in on start use the start screen property instead so you need to use start screen and we cannot use a uh, navigate property in on start now if you go to settings and if you see uh, under updates and let me type in uh, or maybe just navigate to retired okay so here you will see an important uh, notification uh, it says enable navigate function in app on start now use the new app dot start screen property to control which screen is shown first the switch enables navigate in app on start for a limited time to ease migration so uh, app dot on start from a navigate perspective is retired so you need to start using app dot start screen from going forward okay so it will be there for some time uh, just for uh, downward compatibility and migration but then this will be taken off soon so make sure that you use app dot uh, uh, 
make sure you use start screen and not app.onstart for navigation. Okay, now how to make it dynamic. So if I copy this URL and if I just paste it in a notepad, now if you closely watch this URL, it says app.powerapps.com play E. So this is the environment ID and this is the basically your app ID and it is pointing to a tenant okay and there is there are some parameters like ampersand source time is something now what we can do we can put an another uh, query string to it and we call it as maybe i'll just call it as country uh, equal to something okay so let me say country equal to usa okay now if i put country equal to usa and if i want to use this as a parameter then what i need to do i need to go into my power apps and on the start screen now i'm not hard coding it i'm not hard coding this value but rather this value will come from the parameter so if i'll just say if a uh, param of and in double quotes we need to type in country okay equal to say uh, usa okay then usa is in screen number three okay else i'll say show screen number one now you can use other uh, multiple ifs or switch in this uh, particular property but then just for demonstration purpose i'll just show you by using param okay so what we have done we are not hard coding the start screen value over here we have just used like an if condition and on basis of that it should automatically redirect right so Screen number one shows the flag of Australia. Screen two shows the flag of India. Screen three shows the flag of USA. Now, uh, if you go in app start screen, we haven't set any uh, start screen hard coded value. We have just said if the param country is USA, then show screen three, which is this, else show the screen which uh, has a flag of Australia in it. Okay. So what we're going to do, we are going to just save it and publish this. Now remember, we have used the parameter as country, okay? So what we need to do, we need to go into the property of your application, copy this link. So I'm gonna again paste this link, okay? And what you need to do, you need to append the parameter country equal to USA, okay? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna paste this, right? So it might take a while for the uh, app to publish. Now it says a new version of the app is coming. You are using the older version. So let me click on refresh. And now it, this is a, uh, the refreshed version of the app. Now what it has done, it has uh, redirected me to the USA screen. Now why? Because in my query string, I put country equal to USA. However, if I put something else, if I don't put USA, I'll put something else. I'll just put uh, USA one, okay? then anything apart from USA, it should point to screen number one, right? Which is the flag of Australia. So let me type in this. And now if you see, this has dynamically uh, forwarded uh, or navigated to screen number one. So what we can do with the help of query string and with the help of param uh, function, we can dynamically point the user to a specific screen. So in, in your case, if, if it's a if it's like if you are using an application for different roles and if you have role number one, role two and role three, and if you want to dynamically add those users to the roles and then put the users uh, in specific bucket and uh, if you want to redirect the user to a specific screen based on their role, then you can do that using query string. So this is all about that. So uh, so like uh, the response to this uh, question uh, is basically, yes, you can do that. What you need to do is you need to start passing a customized URL with a uh, corresponding uh, query string. And then with the help of query string, we parse the value in the start screen property. So that's it, folks. This is all about using Param to redirect to a specific screen using Microsoft Power Apps. Thanks for watching.